And so I have been homeschooling. And uh, comparing to, because I, I run a daycare, so I do have the tools and I'm used to being with kids 24-7. But uh, these, these ages are bigger egos, so it's more challenging. And uh, from well, my experience is that one person can't do it all. It does take a village to raise a child. Kids need a variety of people to learn from. I'm awesome, but I don't have enough information about everything. And yes, you have, obviously you have the internet, you have these tools, but it's, as we said, not organized. So uh, anybody who is homeschooling, he feels like, you know, I feel like I'm a cook, I'm a trainer, I'm a teacher, I'm a boss, I'm a judge, and I'm a lawyer, and I also the cleaning lady, and I also have a five-month-old baby. So it's a lot for one person, <laughs> and and I do have, you know, some experience. I have a lot of experience, but other people, other parents are probably kind of terrified and they have no idea. So my conclusion is that we need to organize, reorganize education, but not only for kids, but also for grown-ups, for parents. Because we as parents, we did grow up on this old educational system and we kind of have no idea. We didn't get the manual. So we need to educate ourselves so we can educate our children better. It's a new world. It's, it's, it's beautiful. There's something also so simple that everybody can start to do for, um, which doesn't take so much training. And that's just be based in reality. When my teenage boys start shouting at each other when they hate each other. So I sit them down and I say, that's really normal. I understand that you hate your brother. In fact, it's very normal that brothers hate brothers sometimes. That's mm. there's, because I think that normally what we do, yeah. no, no, stop fighting. No, no, be nice. No, the, just deal with what is first thing. It's exactly what we're saying about the virus also. Just accept reality. And that is where you find the solution. Okay, so I understand. And now in our family, let's talk about what happened here. And then in our family now, we're going to love each other. So we, we don't cancel all of the normal things like so you have a kid who's in school for example and he's 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 got all this energy and the teacher spends all day just pushing him down pushing yeah. him this kid could probably run a what run the whole city you know yeah. but she's spending four years just making him shut up instead of finding a way okay mm -hmm. max wow you have a lot of energy so we're with a lot of people let's figure out you got something to say, Asaf? I let's let's just you're, you're raising your hand like we're in the classroom. So <laughs> no, I, I was like, I was like, oh, oh, <laughs> there's something here I need to add. <laughs> the 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 um you talked about repression, basically how we are repressing the kids. And I just thought about, you know, the biggest thing, the biggest thing that we do as a society, not just in the at school is we repress not just uh, these natural urges and understanding your own natural urges and your own human nature and all that, but what the biggest thing that, that hurts to see as a, as a Kabbalah student uh, uh, that we're repressing is we're repressing children's quest for meaning and purpose. This, Ooh, is, wow. this is such a... If you just think about you know the massive, massive effect that this has on society, it you know it is not. Uh, uh, it's almost not legitimate. There's so no. Patricia just what? wrote. My seven-year-old was kicked out of school two days before schools were shut. There Kid you go. was probably I don't know, but he was probably just blowing up inside because he wants to know what am I doing? What what is all this? And everyone, shh, shh be quiet, be quiet, this, sit down. This sit is down. the thing. No. Our, our our system, our educational system, and our society doesn't encourage. A person who's growing up to research what are we living for and as a child when you reach when you hit five six seven something like that but just it, it's the quality of humans we search for why we are here what is our purpose what is our meaning and not the parents not the teachers not the media not the games nothing 
is telling the children even, hey, it's, it's natural. And you know what? As a human being, you should be questioning and researching. And that's what we're about. The human species is about discovering its purpose of existence. And that is the, the main thing that I think that is repressed. And that I think that by itself is why the educational revolution is the spiritual revolution, is the, 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 the economic revolution, is the great transition that we're talking about.